Hi, I'm going to talk about my uh, project proposal for the capstone uh, course and really the seed for my uh, project idea began a few years ago when I came across a game called Ulysses and I was really intrigued by the game since it was uh, when it was introduced to me in the book it was said to be compared to the scientific inquiry uh, which I thought was pretty interesting because I'm interested in um, STEM education and to kind of explain the game uh, it's a group game with cards where uh, one of the players uh, sets a rule which is uh, I guess similar to a nature rule and the other players try to figure out the rule and there's a main line which is a top line in this example this example is by the way taken from um, Martin Gardner uh, article about the, the game in Scientific American and the top line is the the main line which actually follows the rule and whenever the players try to guess a card that doesn't fit with the rule they have to put it under the last card just to kind of keep um, record of the experiments that didn't work because you use both the, 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 the positive results and the negative results of experiment to figure out um, what it is that you need to figure out so this, for example, is um, is actually um, following a rule. Uh, so if you want to try to guess what the rule is, you should pause now and and look it over. And the rule is actually that um, the cards have to go up and down and up and down uh, their value. I mean, uh, in an alternating way. Uh, and then I had this idea that this is a really great game, but it's really very hard because cards have too many different uh, types of rules you can do with them. You can do something with the number, you can do something with the suit, you can do something with the color. Um, there's really uh, no limits to the difficulty of, of the rules, at least not the way uh, it was set up by uh, uh, Robert Abbott, that the, the person who invented the game. So I thought that um, you know if you if you use simpler game pieces uh, with less you know variety and if we had uh, more restrictions on the rules that the games can um, um, you know um, be played with um, it might be playable for uh, younger children. So so what? Um, well, scientific reasoning and critical thinking are really great skills and really important especially now in the 21st century and it's really hard to teach those skills and I thought that you know we've been gamifying everything especially education but you know business and whatever everything has been gamified lately so games are really prevalent and everybody has iPads and tablets they're they're very ubiquitous it's very easy to create games for them and it's it's uh, it's a great way to spread games so uh, I can make a game that takes Ulysses and translate it to a more puzzle-like game on the iPad. I mean, the iPad can be uh, kind of like the engine that generates rules and a player could uh, solve the rule or figure out the rule, kind of like a puzzle game. And if I add a science theme to it, like uh, molecules or um, whatever, um, or in science tips, like write your hypothesis at the journal at this point and, and do another test to uh, see if your hypothesis is right, it will really help to ground the concept of the scientific reasoning, which is the concept of the game, into the player. Um, so putting it all together, this is, the, this is the project that I want to do. I want to create um, this iPad game and I want to do it uh, thinking primarily on uh, uh, kids in elementary school so I want it to be simple fun and educational and no I don't want to make coffee as well um, I will do all the things related to creating this game I will design it I will create the graphics and I will uh, write the code and I think that uh, it will be very cool at the end thank you